Alright, today I'm going to be doing something a little different. Instead of streaming, I'm going to be doing a little voiceover to this time lapse of me making a start on the Games Workshop uh, Slaughter Priest with Wrathhammer and Hackblade. And what you can see me doing at the moment is using white and administratum grey to lay in a sketch uh, initially on the miniature. So this is on the panels that I want to be red later and I'm using the reflections from the lamp which is positioned just behind the camera to kind of work out where I want my uh, lighter areas to be, my highlights and lay in some white on there so that the red which is obviously quite a transparent colour that we're going to put in there later will show up better, it'll give us the value contrast we want and generally make our lives easier having done the sketch um, I'm going to apologise initially for the uh, video quality and me ducking in and out of the frame. It's not terrifically helpful, but um, what are you going to do? So here we are. I'm slightly prematurely mixing up a transition from Vallejo Modeler Armor Brown to Corn Red, and then I'm just going to continue sketching having done that. Uh, but I, I know what my uh, I know what my colours I'm laying in on these panels are going to be. And yeah, here we are. I'm working on some of the detail on the helmet where, yeah, as well as looking at where the light's actually falling, we're looking at focal points. And I obviously want to exaggerate the corn symbol on his head. So I'm now starting off at the more brown end of the palette and uh, the transition and working up to the corn red. And here I am adding some Wild Rider Red, Wild Rider Red to the palette and putting that on my bright spot as well and we're looking for a nice um, nice transition from the bright orangey reds to the dark brown the reddish brown but dark brown on these panels and that'll add some kind of visual interest and lie to our eyes about what light is hitting the miniature um, so there's a lot of kind of jumping back and forth between different bits of the of the actual transition on the palette here, and we lay in relatively obvious kind of bands initially, and then pick a pick a nice color that will transition between them. Put that in between, glaze over it. Um, yeah. So this is a part of the sketch that I really missed out earlier. I really should have laid in some grey and white on the little spikes on the actual um, Van Brace, no, Grieve, in fact, uh, on the actual Grieve of his uh, armour. Those, um, ended, I ended up going over those quite a few times. So I've also added some Flash Gits yellow to the palette and I'm mixing that with the Wild Rider red for the, you know, extreme highlights and I think I use it nearly neat in a few places, um, just kind of a little bit of Wild Rider Red to flavour it back towards the red. And yeah, this is going to be kind of working and reworking in and around the uh, in and around the spikes, trying to get some shadows underneath them as well as highlighted on top. And that's some of GW's Bloodletter Glaze, which I don't use yet, but I do use later. 
um, just to kind of bring those very orangey yellow highlights um, back towards red and yeah make it a little less obvious in the transitions. So this is a failed attempt to mix up a nice, nice, nice purple. I started off using armor brown as my red, but um, then realized that I had a perfectly serviceable red that I should be using, and mixed up that purple tone using uh, Vallejo model color dark sea blue and corn red. And that purple's been mixed up, and I intend to use it as a shade color later on the gold. So yeah, you can see me going back and forth between those spikes quite a lot. Uh, but I've now got out my metallics. And so that's uh, GW's Liberator Gold. And I'm using that because uh, the I, I think the paler, paler and colder gold uh, will look more interesting with the red. Um, I didn't need the warmth that kind of Retributor has. Retributor has a fair amount of red in it. Um, and I wanted to try something a bit different. I'm going to be shading it with purple, so a uh, more silver gold tone with the cool highlight, the cool shades, and the uh, very kind of neutral highlights. I think will look better in this case, um, next to the obviously very warm armor panels in their kind of reds and oranges. So yeah, what I've done there is I've mixed some of the purple that I mixed up with the Liberator Gold and now I've added some Vallejo Model S Silver and Liberator Gold to make a highlight. This is my first time trying out TMM, so not too sure about it, but this is some Vallejo Game Ink uh, Violet that I was using there and that's when I had to go to work. Um, thanks very much for watching. Uh, I hope it's interesting. I might try doing more of these in future, uh, as well as streaming and generally bombarding you guys with pics. So yeah, thanks very much for watching.